Hey everybody, it's Crypto Caesar, Crypto Caesar Capital. Hope you are well. It's the 1st of March uh, 2023 and we are looking at uh, Bitcoin again, of course, on the uh, Brave New Coin Liquid Index for Bitcoin. Ticker um, is BLX on TradingView. It's probably one of the better charts to look at on a logarithmic scale over time because it gives the most price history. And what we're looking at today is the Pi cycle. The Pi cycle is a quite an interesting um, indicator, um, which was formed some time ago and is, of course, based on uh, Pi. Um, if you guys don't know what Pi is, then you need to go back to grade one maths. Uh, it's a pretty uh, important uh, number. Now, uh, essentially, um, uh, we're looking at Bitcoin here on the one week chart, and we can see that um, by using the Pi cycle indicator, it's really quite simple to, to find the indicator. You just go to your indicators on TradingView and put in Pi cycle and you'll find it. Uh, and what we can see is the Pi cycle uh, has essentially um, been able to gauge uh, the tops uh, and bottoms in Bitcoin's uh, price history over time. So we can see here on the chart um, uh, back in uh, 2013, this was the first halving. Uh, and we can see the pi cycle tops that it called uh, both there. So it had the first pi cycle top here, which I suppose you could call a local top, uh, uh, and then the next pi cycle, which was the cycle uh, top. Bitcoin has only ha ever had two, uh, essentially two cycle tops, as it were, or two tops within a cycle. All other cycles have just brought one top. It gauged the top in 2017 spot on. Uh, around about the 20k mark uh, and it gauged the top uh, back in uh, April uh, 2021 it gauged this top um, it didn't gauge the second top but I suppose it's quite arguable that this is really a double top um, and Bitcoin continued to rally on because it hadn't really finished its four-year cycle uh, but it you know even if you had sold um the, the top here when uh, the Pi cycle indicator was giving that indication around about 58, 60K, you would have done extremely well. Uh, and um, yeah, you would have been happy. It also calls the, the lows. You can see it called the Pi cycle low uh, back in January 2015. Uh, it called the low back in two, December 2018. And it called the low um, in uh, the kind of June, July time. Now, it's quite an interesting point. It called that, um, essentially it called it when Bitcoin was trading around about the 18K mark. Um, of course, Bitcoin went then down to 15.7, uh, but we did have the debacle with, with FTX. And of course, the Pi cycle can't uh, foresee these sorts of things happening. Uh, but essentially, even if you had sold your Bitcoin around about this 58, 60K mark, and then bought your Bitcoin again when the Pi cycle told you to do so at about 18K, that would have been a, a significant position trade uh, anyway. Um, but anyway, looking at the Pi cycle, um, I think there are some important features going on with the Pi cycle at the moment. Um, and I think that we should have a good old look at those because there is an indication at the moment um, that is signaling to me that potentially um, there could be some significant upside to come. Um, I will discuss those uh, in a moment, but before that, let's have a quick advert from our sponsors, BitGet. You have registered and finished the deposit. One more step to start trading. Go to the Assets tab and click the More button of the coin you are transferring. Click the Transfer button and select the pair you want to trade. Type the transfer amount and finish the transfer by clicking the Confirm button. Let's start trading now. Go to the Futures tab. If you look at the upper right corner, you can choose either Standard or Light version. For starters, let's choose the Light version this time. Click the Futures list on the upper left corner and select the pair you are trading. Once you have selected the pair, you can change the margin mode to cross or isolated. Then select either limit order or trigger order to open a position. 
If you want to adjust the leverage, you can adjust the leverage up to 125 times. Enter the price and the count amount. If you are opening a position with limit order, you can use take profit, stop loss function. Finally, click buy long or sell short button to start the position. Click position to check for details after the order is placed. If you want to stop trading, click the close position and your position will be closed. Not bad for a first time, right? Okay, guys. Yeah, that's great. That those were that 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 is my sponsor essentially. Uh, BitGet, brilliant deposit bonus for spot, brilliant deposit bonus for futures up to nine k. Excellent discount and trading fees, deep liquidity. Uh, but I must say, you know, even though I'm sponsored by an exchange, never keep your assets on an exchange for too long. Always get them off. Make your trade, make your spot trade, get your assets off onto a cold wallet. Um, however, you know, if you're doing uh, futures trading, that's a different thing. But generally speaking, any spot trading, you should remove your assets immediately. OK, looking back at the um, the pie cycle uh, uh, with Bitcoin, uh, essentially uh, what we could see over time is that uh, you can see these moving averages. You've got a, the, the, the yellow, uh, I think it's the green and the red moving average uh, that kind of dictates the way that Bitcoin is behaving. So as soon as it gets under these moving averages, we know uh, that, you know, the bear market is coming, there's going to be some significant downside. But as soon as it starts trending above, <clears throat> excuse me, these moving averages, um, after significant downside, as soon as, it, uh, after significant downside, and it starts to trend above these moving averages, generally speaking, we can see some significant upside. This is what happened um in uh 2012 then let's take a look at what happened in 2015 when uh, price got above these moving averages essentially price rallied to the upside as soon as it got above these moving averages um again let's have a look at 2019 obviously it dropped below them then significantly came down for the pie cycle low about three thousand two hundred dollars then it battled with them got through um, and then kind of went sideways for a bit. But as soon as it got above uh, though these moving averages, up it went, okay? It had a really good rally uh, to uh, the upside. So interestingly enough, what we have at the moment is we have almost three weekly closes above uh, the moving averages, which I think uh, is significant because historically speaking, um, you know, as I've just pointed out back here in 2019, as an example, once we close a few candles above uh, these moving averages, then she tends to rally to the upside quite significantly. So we've had almost three weekly closes above these moving averages, and they are all postured towards uh, crossing, which is also quite bullish. But that is, in fact, a lagging indicator when they cross. Uh, this is the signal really potentially you should be looking at because um, historically speaking, as I say, whenever there has been any significant downside with Bitcoin and they and Bitcoin has then rallied up above the pie cycle moving averages, it always indicates significant um, upside. Now, having a look at what significant upside there could be, um, let's let's go back in history and have a look. OK, so. We had. Um, so this is back in uh, 2011. We had that uh, high of $31. Uh, okay, if we just draw a fib down from there, we can see that the price came down uh, and then it rallied. Uh, once it got above the moving averages, it rallied up towards the 786. Okay, uh, rallied up towards the 786. Now, again, uh, in 2000, uh, the, the cycle of 2013, 14, 15. Have a look at that one. There we go. So it came down. It, it, the, the, the moving averages crossed. It got above it. Then there was a significant move to the upside and rally to the 786, and there was a significant pullback. Okay, let's have a look of 2018-19. So this is the top in 2017. Draw our fib down to the bottom. As you can see, 
um, Bitcoin uh, got above the moving averages here. Uh, and once it got above those, it was a significant move to the upside. And it, and it, it basically attacked the 786, rejected, uh, then came back down uh, to the 382. Uh, so what does that mean now? What would that mean if Bitcoin were to repeat that type of cycle? Uh, I've mentioned this in quite a few videos before, but essentially what that would mean would be uh, that uh, Bitcoin now above these moving averages, um, if it were to follow this historical type of price action, then it would rally uh, towards uh, the 786. And of course, uh, the 786 is 50K, okay? I'm not saying, you know, that 50K is programmed or anything like that, but looking at the price action and the cyclical nature of Bitcoin, uh, generally speaking, once it gets above these moving averages, okay, and closes three weekly candles above them after some significant downside, it tends to rally to the upside and to the 786 okay it did it in 2019 it did it in all the other cycles previous so it's not out of the question in my view uh, that we could potentially rally up to the 50k mark then have a rejection down to the 382 which is about 28k then we go sideways into the halving and the halving is here programmed around about 25th of march 2024 um anyway those are some interesting uh, facts for you completely a matter for you what you do now but i am uh, bullish on bitcoin thank you very much for listening if you want to join the group link in the description there's also the link to the bonuses for BitGet in the description reach out to me on twitter if you want to join the group or email me via the website thank you very much for listening take care Bye bye